Hello everyone, it's Davide here and welcome back to Learning Finance. In today's video guys, I want to bring you a follow-up video on the first one I did one week ago about uh, the outlook for 2021, okay? So can we expect a market crash? What will happen? And obviously no one can answer to that. There are a lot of very high profile economists that they don't know what is going to happen. We are in a sort of an experiment. Uh, the situation that we have lived in 2020 has basically never happened before in the recent days. But I think that when it comes to investing, it's reasonable to try to have an idea at least on what to expect. And what I like to do, uh, first of all, a large part of my bachelor degree was in economics. So I have studied those things, I continue to read those things and be interested in them. Obviously, I have ideas but those ideas are obviously not correct. When it comes to finance and economics, no one is 100% correct. It is not a science. So what I like to do is read a lot about what smart people think about it. First of all, I always go to look JP Morgan reports, which for me, they are one of the best in what they do. Then I also listen and read about what uh, older people, big personalities, think about the situation. For example, in this case, both JP Morgan and Kathy Wood with this video, they say things that I really agree with and in my opinion will be fundamentals to look at for 2021. So I'm going to explain you what those things are and what you should really pay attention to. The only thing I ask you guys, as always, is please leave me another like. It's very important and I thank you for it. Thank you very much. And subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any new updates. Let's begin. Now, first of all, uh, as probably all of you can agree with me with this one, uh, 2020 has been an abnormal year, a crazy year. We have had the fastest and most violent crash in the history of the stock market. Then we have had probably the best recovery in the industry. As of today, we have done around 75, 76% since the March is low. So what does that mean? Uh, should we expect a stock market crash in 2021? Is a stock market crash coming in 2021? Well, as I explained you, I, I think clearly in the video before, no one can predict when a stock market crash will happen. Considering that historically we have a market crash around once in 10 years, we have every single year that a new year starts, we have a 10% probability of a stock market crash to happen. Probability, that's it. As also JP Morgan's uh, report with this interesting graph is that the P ratio and all the valuation measures are too high compared with the 25 years average of the stock market. However, if you remember from the, my previous video, I also told you that people do not have too much alternatives to the stock market and real estate. Because obviously you have seen the bonds, even though now people are saying that the rate of the T-bill 10 year went above one, so it looks like an inversion in the trend. But the reality is that since 40 years from now, uh, the rate has been decreasing and decreasing and decreasing. Now, it is very difficult to actually consider bonds as of today as an alternative to the stock market. Considering the incredible amount of stimulus that the Fed put in the economy and the continuous interest rate near to zero over basically since 2008, and economies, international economies, they are getting stronger. For example, China is one of them. Uh, India as well. Plus, you add the fear of inflation. You have that the US dollar can weaken. And we have already seen that since basically March, the dollar lost at least 8% of the value. And obviously, people do not want to put the money in the bank and make them lose value, but they want to invest. And so we have seen basically an explosion in the stock market. Why? Because the stock market thinks ahead. So in 2020, even though everything was shut down and no more travel, no more anything, and people were saying that this pandemic will go away, and that's fair enough. And the thing is, all the stocks went up incredibly. Now, when you have a huge bull market like the one that we have seen since March, driven by hope 
in the future, driven by stimulus. Uh, everyone looks like a genius in the stock market. I don't know if you have realized it, but basically on YouTube, and now you can find everyone. Everyone is talking about penny stocks. Everyone is saying 10x, 15x, 1000x in one month, okay? So, and look at the views of those guys. I mean, uh, I make like the 5% of views of them. And I don't talk about the completely nonsense and bullshit that those guys are talking about, okay? So, uh, this is a risk. And the thing is, do you think that this thing can last forever? Now, according to, as well as both JP Morgan and also Cathie Wood, in the last video that Ark Invest posted, now go to check it out. I think it's very interesting. I don't agree with one another percent of what she says but in this case i really agree with her and she says what i basically said to you in the previous video that 2021 we expect so they are can best expect an explosion in earnings this will be a very important thing as well as we can see from the jp morgan report earnings should bounce strongly in 2021 and we see their projections. And if you remember, I also told you that we don't need a market crash in order to come back to a normal level because it's a ratio, okay? You have the price on top and then the earnings at the denominator. So if you increase as they are expecting the denominator, uh, these values should obviously come back to a normal level without a market crash. Now, what is the thing to keep in mind? In my opinion, 2020 has been the year of the hope. Okay, where everyone was a genius, the stock market just couldn't stop to go up and all the stocks, no matter fundamentals, no matter profitability, no matter the business, the quality of the business, no matter the proof of concept, no matter scalability, no matter anything, uh, they went up and they went up consistently. Some of them made 200, 300% and that's it. Now, what I expect in 2021, according to also what, what Cathy Wood and JP Morgan said, I expect a different year. I will call 2021 as the year of the truth. And what I mean by that is that 2020 has been the year of buying dreams. Okay, people, they bought everything. Just they, they say, well, you know what, this year there, there is the pandemic, but in the future, that, that's the world, okay? In the future, this company will do, this company will do. As you can see, it was basically 100% based on expectations. What I expect from 2021 is simple. We will have the economy hopefully reopen completely. Then, obviously, we are gonna see an explosion in earnings, as Cathy Wood said. The thing is, how many companies in the stock market will actually be able to meet the incredible expectations of investors in order to justify the incredible valuations that they have or not? So that's the question you should really uh, ask yourself. And why I like to keep a large part of my portfolio in companies that are proven, in companies that actually you can see the proof of concept, you can see scalability, you can see profitability. And I don't like to buy just penny stocks or very uh, um, low quality businesses which are just selling you dreams but nothing is there in reality. Uh, because guess what is going to happen? If they are not able to meet these huge expectations, everything was based in huge expectations, guess what the price is going to do? Because in the short term, the enthusiasm can push stocks uh, 5x, 6x, but in the long term, guys, if you don't have fundamentals, if you don't have early that supports your idea and expectations, the price will come back to where it was. That's how the stock market works. So the first thing you have to really pay attention to are earnings. Then we have the second risk. And the second risk is inflation. Now, inflation, yes, but how precisely? What can be the catalyst that can drive inflation up? Because we know that inflation, they put a lot of money in the market during the pandemic, so it can happen. But how 
will it happen? Um, what is the thing to pay attention to, in my opinion? And this is not just my opinion, because mm, it's also written in the JP Morgan uh, article over there, report. And then it is well explained by Cathy Wood. She speaks about pure economics and she makes a very great statement over there. And it's something that you study when you study economics and then it can happen. The thing is, inflation, okay? So what JP Morgan is saying is that inflation should also recover in line with the economy. Uh, wage growth should be slow over the next few months, but then accelerate in the second half of 2022. This, uh, combined with the shortages of Ireland seats, hotel beds, restaurant tables, and eventually apartments to rent, could push inflation as measured by the consumption deflator above 2% in the second half of 2021 and keeping there until 2022. Now, the thing is pretty simple. Uh, with this pandemic, uh, basically a lot of businesses cut their costs. And now the risk is uh, that when you reopen the economy, the demand can be uh, too high for a certain period for the supply to actually meet the demand itself. Okay, and what Cathy says, it is very true, this thing, and we are seeing right now, especially in manufacturing. There are a lot of businesses that uh, they know that the economy is going to reopen, so they want to be ready. Then they have to do some works. So they call the distributors, they call the manufacturers, but this demand seems to be too high for those manufacturers to actually meet the demand. This can be a problem. Now, there is one thing in, in the economy, in my opinion, and also in Cathy Wood's opinion, is the thing that we have to pay attention to, uh, can be a catalyst. And this thing is purely driven by psychology. Imagine you believe that inflation will come okay so everyone has is afraid of inflation and you believe that it will come it's here now what happens is that right now there is not inflation okay but what can happen is that if in a very big scale uh, all the individuals they start to believe that inflation will come, they will want to buy stuff today because tomorrow it will cost you more. Okay, so that's the thing. Now, you understand that by doing that, uh, if you do it in a big scale, you actually transform a fear in a reality because by doing that, you will really have inflation. Purely because after a pandemic, as also JP Morgan says, and there are a lot of businesses that they cut costs so they are not efficient enough to meet a big demand if that happens, okay? So that's the risk that we have to take a look at, the behavior of the individuals in the real economy. And that can be risky because if it happens, the Fed is possible that they should reconsider their policies uh, before they're scheduled, okay? So that would be a risk for the stock market. Then there is also the thing of uh, the fiscal reform of the Biden's administration. However, at the moment, I will not be worried about that thing because in politics, it's easy to say the things. It's not easy to do the things, okay? And they know because as already happened times and times and times like the past, if you increase taxes too much, what you get at the end is less taxes in terms of the total amount of taxes that you get then with a lower tax rate simply because people nowadays can move capitals in just 30 seconds they can take a plane and go in another country so if you do that you will have innovation and very great entrepreneurs that actually leave america to go in another place where there are less taxes and considering that today a lot of the business is done in the web it doesn't really matter where you are okay so so overall this fiscal reform is something that it doesn't concern me too much what we have to take a look then for 2021 is this first of all earnings pay very attention and keep a huge part of your portfolio in quality businesses proven businesses uh, firms that they actually make money and there is a clear path on the scalability, growth and stuff. If you have a portfolio full of promises, full of dreams, it will be very likely that once earnings seasons, they start to come out Q1, Q2, Q3, 
And then if those expectations and dreams are not met, then there is no reason for the price uh, to be that high, okay? If you don't justify the huge multiples that a lot of unprofitable businesses are having. So uh, be very careful there. And then let's keep an eye on what individuals will do uh, with their money. That's the end of the video, guys. I hope you find it interesting. And uh, leave me a like and leave me a comment below. Tell me what do you think? What do you expect from 2021? Uh, subscribe to the channel and as always guys have a wonderful day